need for immediate response on the attack of the Eastern Security Network. Ibokwe tell Buari. Following the recent attacks in the country, especially in the Southeast, which has totally put the nation's security in serious jeopardy, Ibokwe says they think it's high time the government should seriously look into it and treat it as soon as possible before things get messier. Aside the critical conditions at the northwestern region, especially in Zamfara state where insurgency has become a norm, as bandits terrorize rural communities, situations in the southeast is more critical as the indigenous people of Biafra Ipo a Biafran separatist organization in Nigeria, whose main aim is to restore an independent state of Biafra in the southeast Nigerian through an independent referendum, seem not easily doubted. Unlike other rebellious groups, the IPOP, through their indigenous leader, Mazin Namikano, has turned to a thorn in the flesh of the Nigerian government through the killing of police officers and other security personnel conventionally. Ibuko said Kano reportedly formed an Eastern Security Outfit called the Eastern Security Network, a non-state regional force and a paramilitary wing of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, a movement whose aim is to restore the independence of Biafra, whom are believed to be responsible for these killings. Generally, he said that the news of killed police officers, especially those with arms, since after the NSAS protest, which was believed to have been hijacked for political selfishness, keep reoccurring as these unknown government as fondly called are behind everything in order to raise arms for the future. An unenthusiastic response to this would end up making these rebels secure enough arm to fight the country. Secondly, some hours ago, it was reported that about three policemen guiding the former Central Bank of Nigerian Governor Charles Soldo were gone down in Anambra State while he was kidnapped during a campaign rally. This comes after Kano has threatened that there will be no election whatsoever in Igbo land. Therefore, trying to disrupt the upcoming Anambra election scheduled on November 6th as an announcement issued on January 19th in Abuja by INEC Chairman, Information and Voter Education Committee, Mr. Festus Okoye. Failure to look into the matter with serious action sworn in we definitely leave the country in a higher security risk as the Nigerian police officers who lose their men on daily basis may be unwilling to help secure a free and safe election due to the recent bloodbaths. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. My viewers, you see, I don't, I don't, I don't listen to Joey Bokwe, and I can never listen to him because I know that he is speaking for his own favor. Yeah, but we don't know. Joe Ibukwe is speaking for his own favor, but a lot of us, we don't know. We don't know. We think that he's speaking for us. <laughs> See, let me tell you people what you don't know. Joe Ibukwe, one, he is a minister, okay? And a minister in Lagos. Do you understand? And also... Is one of those in Lagos that own um, properties worth millions and billions 
in the western region and northern region. So to him is believing that if uh, I pop is given the chance or the opportunity to take over the land to uh, to achieve Biafran freedom. He's afraid of Biafran freedom and also he's afraid of Indibo leaving Lagos. So he's believing that he's going to lose a lot. He said it now that how can he an Igbo man with plenty investment in the south, in the north and in the west leave this place all in the name of relocating to the southeast. <laughs> you see, people like Joe Ibukwe are the people um, Ojuku is talking about that have left their homeland to invest in a no man's, la a no man's land. Joy Bokwe, if they like the federal government, if the federal government like, let them bring all of their soldiers in search of the Eastern Security, security Network. Let them come to the forest. You said the need for immediate response. Eh, have they not been responding? Let them come. Is it not up to four times that they have invaded the forest? Were they successful? All they keep doing is uh, is deceiving themselves, telling themselves all sort of lie, arranging uh, a fake interview, huh? Fake interview, claiming that they 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 they, they apprehended. The, 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 the Eastern Security Network personnel. How possible can that be? Let it talk, tell all those to the birds and not the people who knows everything. Alright? So, my dear viewers, I I refuse to accept what Joey Bukwe have just said because I know Joey Bukwe to be a very big critic to the, um, to the Biafran government. This he has been doing it's not today. Do you understand? It's not today. So I am not surprised at his action or whatever he is saying. You understand? So um, please, um, my dear viewers, based on these facts and reality, I would still like to hear from you. Let me know what you have to say concerning this ranting of Joey Bukwe because to me I call it ranting. That's what I call it. Okay? Don't forget to leave those comments of yours behind. Click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.